Hello, my name is Dr. Leslie Allen, and I'm Senior Professor of Old Testament at Fuller Theological Seminary. I'm very pleased to be introducing Chronicles to you, because a lot of my professional writing has been devoted to it. was written about two centuries after the return from exile. In fact, between about 350 and 332 BC. Judah was at this time a little province in the Persian Empire until Alexander the Great overthrew that empire in 332. The author of these books, we call him the Chronicler, we don't know his name, wants to bring a crucial message to his own generation. He tells them we must take our turn in maintaining our traditional faith. One of the chronicler's favorite phrases is to refer to the Lord as the God of our fathers, so as to claim that traditional faith as still valid for the present generation. Another even more favorite phrase of his was seeking the Lord. Nowadays, we use the word seeker about a person outside the Christian faith who is inquiring into it and wondering whether to adopt it. The chronicler uses it to refer to those who are already believers. For the chronicler in general, it means to be devoted to the faith centered on the Old Testament. He defined it more exactly as falling into two areas. First, to follow the moral lifestyle laid down in the Torah, the books of Moses. Second, to worship God at the temple in Jerusalem. While the Torah speaks of the tabernacle in the wilderness before Israel reached the promised land, what it says of the tabernacle is true also of the temple built by Solomon, claimed the chronicler. And although that temple was destroyed by the Babylonians, the replacement temple built after the exile has the same value as God's house where we can come and worship him. The chronicler had a dream. Ever since the Judeans had come back from the exile, they'd been separated in their faith from the other tribes in the north of the country. There had been a bad relationship between their province and the province of Samaria to the north, where other tribes lived. Ezra and Nehemiah had warned against spiritual involvement with them as dangerous. This hostility had a much longer history. For centuries before the exile, there had been two separate kingdoms, the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. The chronicler's dream was based on the united kingdom of David and Solomon when all the tribes joined in common worship. In fact, his dream had an earlier basis when even before the monarchy, the 12 tribes had been united. In his genealogies in 1 Chronicles 1 through 9, he teaches that the nation of Israel, chosen by God from the other nations in the world, was traditionally descended from the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob, who gave their names to each of the tribes. So his dream was for his generation to invite the northerners to worship with them in the Jerusalem temple, like the good old days of Solomon. Sadly, the chronicler's dream got no support from his fellow Judeans. Relations worsened between north and south until it could be said in John 4-7, the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. But Jesus shared that dream. In Acts 1.8, he gave his disciples a mission to share their faith in all Judea and Samaria, as well as to the ends of the earth. Jesus added his amen to the yearning of the chronicler. <laughs>